Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Tech Hub again. In the last video, I have showed you how to uh, how to make this uh, analysis, I mean thermal stress analysis on Abacus. So now I will show you how to analyze the results we have got. So this is here, the visualization. So this is the undeformed shape of this model uh, at, the, at the very first moment and this is the deformed shape after after applying some temperature it has been changed it has been expanded and this is the deformation shape deformed shape and here you can plot some contours this is the stress so here the stress is higher here the stress is higher here the stress is lower this is the contours you see you can uh, this is for uh, stress you can also change it for different other things like deformations this is the contours for deformations so uh, you can also uh, you see there is a small black triangle if you click here and hold it for some seconds not some seconds hold it for a moment and you will see other three options this is the contour for undeformed shapes and this is for the contours deformed and undeformed both shapes so we click here this is the deformed shape contours and this one contours option you can change the options for contours like this is if you uh, click the line this is only some line you see the small lines and if you click the bandit this is normal for us default quilt like this isosurface like this so click bandit and if you click continuous this will be you see the difference continuous and discrete and you can also change if it is uniform or not we can also change the color now it's spectrum is rainbow we can change blue to red red to blue or totally black and white you see it is rainbow we can also change the lines the bands also the limits here you see upper limit and lower limit you can change it this is now auto com completed it will specify this like this is 5.4 we'll just use the 5.0 you see and this has been changed we we'll use auto complete if you click also change different other things okay click here and they will show the symbols you can also animate okay just click here you can animate it you see after after uh, when you were, were, you were adding some temperature difference this has been changed this is very fast you can also make it slow just click here animation option decrease the speed you can now observe better apply you can also change different things like here if you want to increase the frames click here like 15 frames apply the frames will be increased okay this is the time screen limit this is the scale factor Okay, uh, now I will show you um, how to export uh, this, this contour, if you want to make some image um, from this contour, how to do it, just click file here, 
and click print you see click on the file we will add file name in okay, this case I'm putting one I will show the location one okay okay change the file format png yes okay then it will be saved okay for making it simpler make it simple i will do it again print png and do you have one okay i will uh, put it to the desktop you can also change the settings like if you want to print viewport backgrounds then also the viewport will be printed also this compass decorations okay cancel now uh, you want to make some mm, data from it like extra data i will show the simple one uh, you want to show the you see like the deformation so we know that uh, the deformation is here high is here is the highest and here is the lowest at along this path so now i will make a graph of this deformation so first of all we have to create extra data along the path so i will create path first that one okay continue here increment before this mode and this mode okay done uh, but This part, okay. Then create a center of class along the path, uh, absolutely plus one, and I will tick mark so it will add all the intersections during this path, okay. So it's this, uh, this is all till the foot you want to this line shape view. Okay. Just plot it. So you see, at the distance, this is your deformation or displacement. How it is displaced. At the very beginning, the displacement is zero. At the end, it's almost zero point zero one zero. Okay, like this. You can also save this data if you want. You can use this next time. Uh, okay. okay uh, i think this is all for today see you next time bye